Today's a reptile kind of day. Hey, welcome to another Tank Life Apparel YouTube video. Today we're making a mini enclosure for our baby crusty gecko. Throwback to when we first got him at the Reptile Super Show. Next reptile that I got was a little baby crusty gecko. He was adorable and he is super sweet. So as you can see, he's doing amazing. I even think he's grown a little bit. He's going to stay in this enclosure until I feel comfortable that he's big enough to be in his full size enclosure, just because I have had animals escape their enclosures in the past and get injured on the way out. And I really want to avoid that as much as I can. I'm actually going to escape this little tank and I think it's time for him to have something nice. All right, so let's start with the substrate. I like using coconut fiber for the animals that require higher humidity because it just holds that moisture a lot better than other, other substrates. I've used it for my ball pythons that require a little bit higher humidity, especially when they're shedding and it's worked wonderful. I've actually never had an issue with their shed, so it's pretty good. Fluffy here approves. I like using the Zoomed Eco Earth just because it comes in blocks and I get to use however much I need and a little goes a long way. If you're watching this in October, you can still get the Tank Love Apparel Limited Edition Halloween t-shirts. This is the Reptile Tortoise one. I'm not going to use all of this because it's a tiny tank. So what I'm gonna do is just take pieces, whatever I need really, and then save the rest for whatever other enclosures I, I need them for. Try that, see if that's good. With this kind of substrate, you actually need to rehydrate it. And I just have water, plain old water. So while that's rehydrating, I think it's time to give him a little snack before I set up his entire enclosure. And what I've been feeding him is rapashi. Oh, oh come on. So this enclosure actually already brought a background, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna use this little container, scoop this up. See, it's nice and wet. Put it in here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not gonna take a whole lot. Look at that. I think that's a pretty good layer. A little bit in this corner. Okay, so I'm gonna use this terrarium moss in here to increase the humidity, just because it's gonna hold the, that moisture really well. This is weird. I've never used this kind. I used the, the brick before, so. Huh. Actually comes with a lot. I'll be able to use this with the other reptiles that I have. Let's get like a small handful. It's kind of making a mess. Put it in here. Now I'm gonna put some water on it and hydrate it. At least you kind of just have to like. Honestly, even that. That should be good. I'm gonna put some here. I'm gonna put some in the back. Put some here. Some in the back corner. Let's kind of spread it out. This is gonna be his little water dish. Now he's always getting in the rapashi and messing up his water, so I'm constantly having to clean it. So I just use this a nice ceramic, easy to clean, and I replace it every day. Get water bowls in. I actually found this at my local reptile shop. It's like a little cork piece. And I think this is pretty cool because I plan on leaning it against the wall and there's still some space behind it. So he can hide if he wants to, but he can also still climb this really easily. So I'm gonna put this in here like this. Like that. Well, that's looking really uh, nice. Yeah, it kind of also like meshes in with the background. Yeah, right? Little. Now, I found this, which I think is pretty cool because crested geckos, they love climbing, they have little sticky hands. And I think this would be pretty cool for him to kind of go all around. Eventually, I wanna add some real plants into his enclosure once he is full grown and in his final home. I think this tiny little setup is ready. Honestly, it came out a lot better than I thought it would. Look at that. He's gonna love it. Let's see if he likes it. Welcome to your new home. Look at him, I think he likes it. 
All right, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like watching stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of videos very similar, especially when he gets bigger and he moves on to his upgraded enclosure. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Check out tankcloverpro.com. We have shirts like this. They're pretty awesome. You're really gonna wanna be subscribed if you wanna find out what's in these boxes. So I loved how it came out, but I wanna hear what you guys thought about it. So comment below, let me know. Oh,